Hello, this is Gio, and this is a circuit board. Actually, this is a sound card, sound circuit, uh, sound card circuit board that goes to a Bailey pinball machine, and I've been having some problems with the sound. And I believe one of the problems is this one integrated circuit right here. This is a 40-pin integrated circuit. It kind of has been getting kind of hot. I think there's a short associated with it, and so I just purchased a new integrated circuit. Uh, to replace this and I will show you how to change them out. So the first thing you want to do is just do your research and uh, figure out what kind of integrated circuit goes into the uh, location you're interested in. Uh, now on this circuit board this would be the U3 chip and so it basically controls a lot of the, um, the sound in the board. And so as this has been getting hot, it kind of overheats and then the sound conks out. So I have sound for about eight, nine minutes and then it's gone. And so I first uh, read um, the label here to find out what kind of integrated circuit it is. And this is just a CPU, 40 pin CPU um, circuit. And so I went and purchased this. This was probably about $7 for this uh, 40 pin circuit. And the next thing you want to do is, I'll zoom in closer. So the next thing you want to do is just to see how this circuit sits. They only go one way, and um, most integrated circuits has either a little notch at the end, or in this case it also has a little, little pin dot here. You could see right there, and the notch is right there. You take the new one that I purchased, and that also has a little notch and a little dot. So I'm going to be installing this one the same way. If you reverse it, uh, you could totally screw up your not only uh, cause some shorts in your uh, your uh, your new circuit, but you could also cause havoc with your remaining circuits and and the board. So you definitely want to make sure that they're installed in the right order. And so that's done with the little notch or sometimes a little hole or both. So the next thing you want to do is just carefully remove these. Now fortunately uh, this circuit are already ha is sitting in kind of like a socket pin. So you could just actually just pull this right out. The pins just kind of fit into an existing socket. Sometimes they're uh, soldered in and if I flip over the board you can see all these little uh, solder points here and uh, if they are soldered in you have to remove them sometimes you have to clip clip out the existing uh, integrated circuit and then desolder all these holes clean them up make sure that they're open doing all this without damaging the board and then go ahead and reinstall or resolder in your chip if you're going to already do all that work you might also go purchase a um, a new socket solder in the socket so you could actually just push in your uh, your integrated circuit and makes uh, replacement much easier. So the main danger with taking out the integrated circuit and actually even replacing them is bending the pins. Uh, they're very fragile, they bend easy. If they do bend you can always kind of carefully bend them back but you really tr want to try to keep these unbent. Now with these smaller circuits you could sometimes just wiggle them out of uh, their existing sockets and but sometimes the last little motion bends the pins at, on the far end so even with those you have to be careful but with these bigger ones they're in there pretty tight and it's really hard to pull these out with your fingers without putting so much force that when they when you, they pop out they'll just kinda really uh, tweak these pins so what I like to do is just take a, a flathead screwdriver and there are little specialty devices but uh, if there's enough room for this I like to just use that of course it's not plugged into the power the board is out and you just kind of like uh, put it kind of underneath the lip here and just kind of twist it out just very gently and just lift up a little bit go on to the other side and just twist just on both sides and just kind of work it out even with the screwdriver you want to make sure it all kind of comes up evenly and so one side doesn't kind of lift up and then once it's up you can just pull it out and again the pins are in good shape even with that you could see I'm not sure if you could see or not this far pin is a little bit bent um, 
if I wanted to keep the circuit, I'd just kind of bend it back. But uh, So even with that careful maneuver, you can still t tweak the pins a little bit. And if I were to put this one back in, I'd be very careful making sure that this pin fits into that socket. So I'm going to put this one aside, and I'm going to take my new, my new circuit. Now, again, these are all fairly straight. Sometimes when you purchase them, uh, one or two pins can be tweaked. But you want to just kind of keep them all as uniform as possible. They are a little flared out a little bit. I don't know if you can tell. And sometimes these are flared out farther than where the uh, socket pins are. And so the way I like to do this, being very careful again, is just to kind of like fit one side in just kind of like very loosely without pushing them in and just making sure that the, you know they're all in that pins and then I kind of push down and by applying a little bit of pressure on the back end I like to just push in from the front and this way those back pins get a little bit bent inward so they kind of bend a little bit and so you could put the front and then next thing you do is make sure that all the pins are properly in their socket. Sometimes when you're installing these, one or two pins can actually bend back and um, that that's not good. Sometimes you see pins kind of sticking out and they're not actually properly in the socket. So you just want to make sure everything's correct. I'm double checking that the little notch here is in the correct position and I think I have that proper. And so I'm going to go ahead and plug this back in and make sure it works. But this is basically the basics of how to install an integrated circuit uh, when you have a, a, a socket, socket to uh, just place it into. So just be careful. And if the pins bend a little bit, just make sure you bend them back and get them straight. So I'll see you next time. Hope this helps. Bye-bye.